Yeah, you know, it's uh, this is it's frustrating is not the right word to use. Um, we, but change is, is is maybe an appropriate word. Change to our mental approach to some things. You know, we've uh, I've said this before, and I'm really kind of tired of saying it. You can probably cherry pick this out of every single one of the uh, post game press conferences that we had. That uh, we play good basketball at times, but we hadn't put 40 minutes together yet. It's it's kind of frightening. Uh, the thought of us being able to put 40 minutes together because the night we only played about 17 and down, you know, points in the 20s to be able to come back and 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 uh, cut the lead. I, you know, I, obviously I'm proud of our guys, but I'm not uh, certainly not satisfied. You can't win uh, when you turn the ball over 22 times. And we had 13 of those, I think, in the first half. You can't win when your opponent is getting to the line 35 times. They got 18. They, I think they were 15 of 18 in the first half. You, you just you, you, we're putting ourselves in some tough, tough situations. Um, and from a coaching perspective, it's very clear. It's black and white that when we do things the way we're supposed to do, we are really good. Uh, whether we have the ball or whether we don't have the ball, whether we have a lead or whether we're behind. When we do things the way we're supposed to, we're really, really good. But we have not, for some reason, learned and developed the consistency that we're looking for. Right. Um, well, of course, well, well, of course, as you guys can see, the the second half, our mindset for players was to buckle down as as coach said with you know tighten their belt and let's get the job done and we tried our best with that and obviously and there was still some hiccup mistakes between that that still cost us you know towards the end of the game at the final result and um you know on the positive side it, it's, a, it's a it was a fun basketball game you know it was I, I know it was fun to watch and I know and it was fun to be in at the positive side you know because we know we're fight, fighting back and you know and we're just and we're just competing competing at a high level from every player. And so that was the positive side, I can say, for us and, and the team. You know, the message is not any different than it was at the start of the game, not any different than it's been in any other basketball game. Um, you know, when it boils down to it, uh, players make the difference. I think we had some guys that just kind of focused in on what we've been asking them to do. There were plenty of examples uh, where we were able to uh, make some runs. I mean, there's some key stats that we constantly look at. Uh, just guarding the basketball and getting deflections makes a world of difference. Getting paint touches, getting more paint touches than our opponents makes a world of difference. Uh, it, it sounds mundane and trite and simple, but just going after balls with two hands. You know, it, it's just little things that we have to pay attention to. And when you when you dissect this game, there are two plays that come to mind where we miss a breakaway layup uh, in, a, in a game that's a four-point game, and then it's a six-point game, and we throw it away on an inbound pass. On, that's two unforced mistakes that, uh, you know, that's anywhere from four to, to – to five points, maybe six points that you don't get back. So uh, we just got to keep working at it. Hopefully guys will begin to see how important and how urgent some of these little things are. Yeah. Survive. You know, we got to survive. We got we to survive. If we can play some sound, solid basketball, uh, continue to show improvement. Um, improvement uh, right now looks like a 40-minute game. It just looks like us handling our business for 40 minutes, extended periods. So, um, you know, you, you touched on the play by Iggy. Um, that's a huge benefit for us to be able to get that kind of play off the bench because the guys that have been playing in front of him, the guys that have been starting have been solid. Uh, 
So that's a lift that hopefully we can come to count on. You look at the minutes from Jave Lampkin tonight, those were really, really big minutes for us. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully those are, those are some minutes that we can begin to count on. The, 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 the nice thing about the situation we're in, if we can survive this next three game road trip, uh, the, the worm begins to turn, so to speak. Uh, we end up with a lot of home games in the second half of the season, number one. But of course, unlike tonight, we've got to win at home. And then the second thing is we get healthy. We get some guys back that, that we sorely missed. And so get, getting those guys back means their bench is a little bit deeper. It also means our bench is a little more experienced because we're getting some minutes for some guys. So hopefully those things can, can become an advantage. But uh, the, the, the goal right now is just to go out and play a 40-minute game. Yep. Thank you.